What began as a crafts fair on the lawn of the Lakeland Public Library, Mid Florida Mayfair by the Lake has grown into one of Florida's premier outdoor festivals. All the details of this year's event are coming up on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Jeremy Morady, and with me here today in the studio is Lori Delk Walker, Good who morning. is the spokesperson for Mayfair by the Lake this year. Correct. So, well, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, as always, for having me. Well, it's always an exciting event that comes around going back <laughs> since, God, ever since I was growing up. Right. Um, this year, it's in its 47th year. Yeah. So, it, it's got a few more years on me, but uh, <laughs> it, it's always been around since I you know, growing up around the area, but um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, what's new this year? There are some new performers lined up. If you've been to Mayfair in the past, you know the library lawn is packed with entertainment throughout the weekend, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily, there are entertainers. And so we have some new entertainers because the local community is always good about generating some new talent for us. And uh, as in past years, we have 165 about artists who are participating, okay. and we have food trucks, which are a big hit. Uh, they were new last year. Mm -hmm. the, the caliber of food trucks was new last year, and yeah, those have really come up in popularity in the last few have. years, especially for big events like this. And people enjoy the variety, mm -hmm. so we are happy to bring that back again this year. That's not just a hot dogs and hamburgers and subpar kind of right there's a lot there's some pretty food. fancy food trucks out there yeah, they and we're do. happy to have them as part of mayfair this year well let's back up a little bit um you know talking about those early days um how's it evolved over the the years and i mean 47 years that's a lot of time and a lot of growth uh, to what it is now. Can you take us back a little bit? I would say the biggest thing that people would notice is the growth in the number of artists and then in the attendees. Mm -hmm. We are now up to estimates of about 70,000 people per year. Uh, through the years, we've added children's activities on the library lawn and that continues. Uh, the, the food element, you know, when you're at an all day event like that, you've got to have plenty of food and beverages for people to enjoy while they're there as they're shopping for art. And as we've grown, we've just kind of made our way around the lake, around Lake Morton. So um, I would say those are the biggest areas of, of growth for us over the years is just size and popularity. Mm -hmm. Well, it, and I think also the, the caliber of the artists has really, you know, raised up uh, especially in like the last 10, 15 years or so. Absolutely. It's a lot of new names coming in, lots of different types of art coming in. And they come in from all over the country. And as is the nature with an art show that grows in popularity and size, we, att we begin to attract more artists. Artists are a good close-knit community. They talk to each other. And so mm -hmm. when they say good things about Mayfair to their artist friends, it definitely attracts more artists and so we have a, a really good pool of artists from which to select each year. So absolutely, the caliber has increased over the years just because as our show has gotten better, we have attracted better artists. Well, for the, the folks that haven't been to it before, can you kind of walk us through a little bit on what to expect in um, everything from parking um, and getting around uh, especially for, you know, this time of year, some of our older residents are still, you know, down here um, and may, can get a little warm at times. Um, and then all, all the different activities, because I, I think something that's now at this caliber, you can almost miss out on things that right. because of how spread out it is and how much there is going on and your head's just spinning around. Can you walk us through some of that? Absolutely, and I have to give so much credit to Joy Pruitt and Leslie Norman, the Mayfair coordinators, who have taken the baton from past coordinators and really continued to look for little areas where tiny improvements could be made that would make a big difference for people who attend. Mm -hmm. So, parking and transportation, you hit the nail on the head. Those are key things that can be barriers 
to enjoyment for people who attend Mayfair. But we have coordinated with Florida Southern College and we have, we call them Mayfairies, golf carts that will transport people and there are well-signed areas where you wait for a Mayfairy cart to come and get you. So you can park at Florida Southern College where there's plenty of parking, catch a Mayfairy that will take you through the Lake Morton district, which I'm sure you're aware, it's a beautiful little mm -hmm. historic neighborhood. So, you know, you get That's to see- That's a nice see, little ride. <laughs> right, you get, it's a, it's a beautiful view from Florida Southern's campus down to the lake. And then the Mayfairies will drop you off. We recommend that you bring water and sunscreen and sunglasses and hats because uh, people jokingly refer to Mayfair as bake at the lake sometimes <laughs> because like you said, the, the temperature can be, can be warm some weekends. But once you get down there, you can kind of just pick a starting point and work your way around the lake. The, the artist's booths do not go entirely around the lake, but where the booths stop, there is a Mayferry station right there. And so you can take a Mayferry cart around the lake to where the booths start up again, and you can just make your way around. We have food throughout the area so that you can stop off for a drink if you need to and uh, restrooms is a big thing. We have restrooms placed around the lake and then also the museum and the library are open for restroom facilities as well. Now for the different types of um, performances that are coming in, the different groups, is there an area where people can check out, you know, the different names and the times that'd be, you know, playing or performing? Yes, we have signage on the library lawn each day so that people know who's performing at what time. And then there's also a great information table where you can buy Mayfair merchandise and you can get your questions answered. And so uh, the volunteers there are quite helpful and can, can help you navigate the show and also point you in the direction to information if you need questions answered. All right, now uh, there's also a night event too. There is, Mayfair Saturday night is one lake over at Lake Muir on the Francis Langford Promenade. Uh, this is also in conjunction with the Lakeland Runners Club Mayfair 5K race, which is an evening race through downtown Lakeland. That is a wildly popular race. We, there's well over a thousand runners who participate in that. Wow. And then the event Saturday night starts at 5.30 p.m. and we have live music from the band Empire. They have been our live music performer for several years now and they are so good. They're, they're a huge band, they play a wide variety of music and people absolutely love them. And then at the end of the night, we have fireworks. Now with all this going on, we don't wanna look overlook anything um, for anyone coming to this. Uh, you know, the libraries, you know, right there, the, the museum, are, do they have other things going on as well? Absolutely. The museum is open during its normal weekend operating hours that weekend, and we have some wonderful exhibitions that are going. Uh, admission to the museum is free daily, thanks to some uh, entities who have underwritten it, so it won't cost you a dime to go in there, and if you want to take a break from the heat and cool off in some air conditioning, then you can see the exhibitions at the museum. And right now, it's Painting a Nation, which is landscapes from artists who were part of the Hudson River School. Okay. And there's also an exhibition of Robert Siegelman monotypes. And there are some other exhibitions in there too, but those are, those are two biggies. Well, thanks so much for coming in. We sure do appreciate you taking the time to, to share with us a little bit about what's coming up. Thanks so much for having me. Mayfair by the Lake is an annual jury art show that has about 165 artists showing their jewelry, sculptures, paintings, and more. Held on Mother's Day weekend each year, Mid-Florida's Mayfair by the Lake is located on the shores of beautiful Lake Morton in downtown Lakeland. Mayfair is one of the largest and oldest outdoor art festivals in Central Florida and is on the Sunshine Artist Magazine's prestigious Best 200 Art Shows. Scheduled for Saturday and Sunday, May 12th and 13th on the shores of Lake Morton, admission is free. The event runs from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily. Make sure you don't miss Mayfair Saturday night at the Francis Langford Promenade at Lake Mirror from 5.30 to 11 p.m. For event information, check them out on the web at www.mayfairbythelake.org or give them a call at 863-688-7743, extension 237.